Hey everyone, Adam here. Today I'm upgrading uh, my studio rack with Patch Bay. So I have one outboard gear unit. It's a third dimension by Clark Technic. It's a stereo chorus effect. And I have Apollo Twin, which has, it's Apollo Twin X. So it has two inputs and two outputs. All of them are taken by the chorus effect. And so in the future, if I potentially get uh, another outboard gear unit, such as compressor, for example, then I would have to somehow switch between them. So I could do it either by unplugging the cables in the back of the outboard gear and connecting it to the different outboard gear unit, or I could do it directly on the back of the audio interface. But that's, first of all, that's kind of annoying. And secondly, that's just putting unnecessary wear and tear on a quite expensive gear. So that's where the patch base comes in. They are a very convenient solution. So that's, that's one application. And the second application is that I have a bunch of guitar pedals that I want to use both for uh, recording as well as some reamping after the recording was done. For example, with uh, the reverb and delay for the guitars. Sometimes it's better to add them afterwards. And yeah, I had my pedals on the pedal board, but with the pedal boards, the thing is that the signal chain is fixed. And if you want to change the order of the pedals, then it's, it's not as easy. And also with the larger number of pedals, there is a bigger signal loss. So, and it's very rare that uh, I would have all of my pedals on at the same time. So uh, if I'm not using a pedal, then why not just take it out of the equation completely? And again, this is something that the Pitch Bay will help me with. And yeah, it will be easy to switch the order of the pedals and so on. So that's another application. Uh, I have this drawer here that I will put in my rack and the pedals will go on top of it. So I, I can just pull out, uh, change the settings and so on. Also, I haven't found any labels for the patch bay specifically. So I got these tapes and I'm going to use them instead. Okay, let's do it. So here's my working proof of concept. Uh, just to briefly explain with the patch base, the outputs are always on top and the inputs are always at the bottom. And I'm running uh, the patch bay in full normal mode, which means that, for example, here, since there are no cables, the output is going to the input just automatically. And if I plug any cable here in the output, the connection is broken and then I can wire it somewhere else. So for example, here, that's the output out of my audio interface and I'm routing it into the input of this fast pedal. The fast pedal is doing its thing and then it's going to the output. And with this yellow cable, the output is going to the input of my audio interface. Uh, just to note, the input and output of my audio interface, I didn't use the same column for them, uh, so, that's, so that there's no loop. Yeah, I, I guess this will save me some headaches in the future. Uh, in any case, if I send out of my audio interface, if I send clean guitars, it sounds like this. As you can hear, the fuzz is doing its thing and it's affecting the, the clean guitars. So I may decide to not to use the fuzz pedal, but I want to use the slicer. So I will change the cables here. And now if I play it, we hear a different effect. But uh, let's say that I want to use both of them. In that case, I will unplug the input here. 
and I will send it to the input of the fast pedal and I will connect the pedals together like so. So now the signal is going out of the audio interface into the fast pedal and with the green cable we are going out of the fast pedal into the slicer pedal and then the output of the slicer pedal is going through the yellow cable into the audio interface. And so if I play it again, we hear both of the pedals. I can easily switch the order and yeah, I think it's, it's very convenient. So now that we know it's working, let's install everything in the rack. Things didn't go quite as well as I envisioned. So what works is that here is my outputs from the audio interface. Here are my inputs from the audio interface. And here is my outboard gear and I'm routing it through the patch bay. It works really well if I get in the future more of the outboard gear, I can just easily switch between them by swapping the cables in here on the patch bay. So that's nice. What is not working quite well are the guitar pedals. Uh, I've tried the overdrive pedals through the patch bay and when I'm not playing, I'm getting uh, like a hiss or squealing noise. I'd rather avoid it. So. Yeah, I will not use overdrive pedals through the patch bay. I've also tried reamping with my reverb and delay pedals. Yeah, basically going out of the interface into the pedals and then back into the audio interface. And for some reason there is a noise as well. Uh, my guess is that it's because of different levels. So the audio interface works with line levels and guitar pedals, they work with the instrument level, of course. So because the levels are mismatched, there's a different impedance, uh, it's not working quite well, but I should be able to fix it quite easily with like a DI box and a reamp box or reamp pedal. Uh, I might look into that in the future. Uh, also, I'm not quite sure about the placement of the patch bay here, as I did some research, it shouldn't be too close to the power conditioner. It can cause some interference, but I want to have it below the outboard gear and above the pedals. Problem is that now, because I have these cables here, if I want to fiddle with the settings on the pedal, they are in the way. Probably I won't need the cables in that situation, so I can just take them out, but still it's a bit of uh, inconvenience. Also, it's quite tricky to connect everything throughout the cables, especially if I'm going into the patch bay and also uh, the power cables for the pedals, because I have this drawer, which is quite nice. Actually, I ordered another one uh, for the other pedals as well. But the problem is that the cables they need to fit properly when it's opened as well as when it's closed and also uh, these pedals they have inputs and outputs behind them so it's quite easy to use uh, ca cables with the straight connectors like this but actually most of my pedals uh, they have the inputs and outputs on the sides 
and in this case using this it's not really that good because then it will take a lot of space and the thing is that when connecting things into the patch bay you don't want to use the angled connectors you definitely want to use this because this way it's easy to plug in or unplug so i ordered few cables that have mixed connectors one is angled and the other one is straight this should help me resolve this and yeah make it more manageable other than that uh, i'm quite happy and yeah i guess that's it for today thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me on my journey and i'll see you in the next one